hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again war of words have started we know yesterday federal government uh, um they kicked against what uh, governor gordon obaseki stated the shocking revelation he made regarding the state of affairs of the country the current state and that the country is regarding its borrowings and um how money is being spent you know obaseki talked about um federal government printing between 50 to 60 billion era to share. But yesterday, the Minister of Finance, Ahmed Zenab, um, refuted um, all of um, those claims by Governor Gordon Obaseki, stating that um, they were all lies. It's unbelievable. We know Nigerians, we know who to believe anyway. We know that um, federal government, presidency, President Mohamed Buhari, they don't mean well for the country. They will even sell the country just for their personal interest. So they came up with that yesterday, thinking that Nigerians will buy into all of that, um, trying to um, pull down Governor Gordon Obaseki that he was telling lies. But interestingly, Governor Gordon Obaseki has just responded. He has just replied. You know, when we were reporting that news yesterday, I stated that definitely obaseki is going to speak i know he's going to speak regarding this because he will not just want to um say something that is not you know when he was even making the statement he included himself that was it not just a match that we went to abuja to share money the money that were that uh, was printed we went to abuja to share money and we're going to go back again very soon um, um so when he was speaking that he spoke with with a lot of conviction he knows what he was talking about he was in stories because he's actually part of it he's a governor himself governor gordon obaseki i just stated i stand by my claims on printing of 60 billion naira as he replies federal government guys please if this is the first time you are uh, um, coming across us please don't forget to like share and to subscribe hit on the notification bell guys god bless you Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has said he won't join issues with the federal government over his claim that 60 billion naira was printed in March to support allocations to states. Obaseki had lamented the fiscal state of the nation, stating Nigeria is in a financial trouble. While speaking at the Edo State Transition Committee stakeholders' engagement over the weekend, he claimed the federal government printed money to breach FAAC allocation. When we got FAAC for March, the federal government printed additional 50 to 60 billion naira to top up for us to share, he had said. But the nation reported on Wednesday the federal government faulted his claim, dismissing it as untrue. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zenab Ahmed, said Obaseki's claim was very sad because it was untrue. Reacting to the counter-reaction on Thursday, Obaseki, through his official Twitter handle, said, We believe it is our duty to offer useful advice for the benefit of our country. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning should rally Nigerians to stem the obvious fiscal slide facing our country. Rather than play the ostrich, we we'll urge the government to take urgent steps to end the current monetary rascality so as to prevent the prevailing economic challenge from degenerating further. We believe it is imperative to approach the Nigerian project with all sense of responsibility and commitment and not play to the gallery because ultimately time shall be the judge of us all. What a brilliant reply and response from um, Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State. He has just um, replied um, federal government. He has replied presidency um, who spoke through the person of um, the Minister of um, Finance and Budget, the person of Zenab. Yesterday she was stating that um, it was so unbelievable of her. You know, she was defending the country, defending um, President Mohamed Buhari's uh, uh, um, reckless spending that um, she knows that the country is in debt. However, the debt is not so bad. What do you mean the debt is not so bad? Something you met, not that you've reduced it after four years of your, uh, uh, six years. What, what am I talking about? Six years of your tenure. You haven't reduced it after six years. Rather, you've tripled the debt. And you then tell Nigerians that it's not that bad. How is it going to be bad to you until China comes and states that um, all Nigerians have to be laboring for them, working for them because of the debt the country is owing? Buhari is literally mortgaging the country out because 2023 is not long to go. His tenure is going to run out and um, he's going to be out of office. 
at the end of the day who's gonna pay the debt if we watch that video guys you can check that video out we did report it here at peak media the actual video where governor gordon obaseki was speaking and lamenting he was stating that he cannot understand it i cannot comprehend it that who borrows money without thinking of how to pay it without things in place he was talking about he even used them an analogy of a family that a family they are borrowing money but they don't know how they are going to pay back but they keep borrowing they keep going back to borrow that is that not a, um uh are they not heading for 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 a, a total fall that was the way he puts it so um when they came yesterday and uh, they were countering governor Gordon obaseki that um, is totally untrue obaseki has replied he has responded right now that he stands by his claim of printing of money that they actually printed money this thing uh, <laughs> A lot of tables are going to turn around. The expositions they are coming out right now. I'm glad that Governor Gordon Obasek is actually speaking up because among all of the governors that collected money, this money that he's talking about that they shared, the 36 state governors took from it. Let's know that it wasn't only Obaseki. 36 state governors went to Abuja and they actually shared this money and that they, they want to use for the state. No other governor is talking about it. It's only Obaseki that has actually spoken out. And the way he even replied, um, the Minister of uh, uh, Finance right now, is that <laughs> it is obvious. It's not arguable. So you people should stop playing that game of the ostrich. Stop arguing about it. The country is in trouble right now, financial trouble. What you should be looking at is how to solve that problem until the country finally collapses. You see, that is why the agitations are rising day in and day out. I'm really glad that Obaseki has risen up because, you know, after Obaseki made the statement and the presidency responded yesterday, a lot of people were, they were, they were just thinking that, could it be true? Who is telling the truth among them all now? We can see for Obaseki to come out to, on his official Twitter handle that, you know what, I stand by my, my claim of printing of 60 billion naira is replying federal government that uh, you people shouldn't think that you can intimidate me to change uh words or to uh paint it i'm not like other politicians you know if if some politicians they will come back and say that this is this isn't what i was saying actually i was actually saying but i mean this one is integrity when you talk about integrity integrity is standing by what you've spoken stand by your words He's taking full responsibility. He's standing by his words that I stand by my claim of this printing of the money. And he's telling the, the, the presidency that, you know what, you guys should go and sit down and think about how you will put the country in shape. How you will end the current monetary rascality so as to prevent the prevailing economic challenge from degenerating further. And Obaseki finally left them with this, that it is imperative to approach the Nigerian project with all sense of responsibility and commitment and not to play the gallery because ultimately time shall be the judge of us all. Well, my people, that one is coming from Governor Gordon Obaseki. He has just replied the federal government. Let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.